So a lot of people are asking what's going on with R. Kelly, especially since his foul ass pedophile Chomo Diddy was defending the other Chomo, R. Kelly. Now, that's fucked up. You know, that's the last motherfucker you want defending you when you got a fucked up Chomo pedophile case like R. Kelly. He got hit with racketeering for the sexual trafficking with a little kid, man, just nasty shit, man. Anyway, so he gets 30 years, appeal denied. He's gonna be sitting for a long time. That's what happens when you do that type of shit. Your money, your power, your influence can only get so far. It's only a matter of time until that karma, that light, that goodness, that spirit, whatever you believe in, finally shines in and your ass is locked up getting just a little bit of the same type of feeling that your victims had. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's about the money or it's about this. Come on, man. There's a difference between consenting adults and grown men destroying kids' life, rapes, beatings of women brutally. And in R. Kelly's case, I mean, the dude just went after kids, period. So the money will not make you a better person. If you're an evil, demonic motherfucker, it'll make you an evil, demonic motherfucker on steroids. If you're a good person, it'll change you and you could change other people's lives. So anyway, let's talk about the ass beating that R. Kelly got while he was in Chicago's federal prison. So right as he was getting his time, R. Kelly was in there trying to get out on a bond, appeal bond, just begging, please get me out of here, scared to death. Now, Chicago is known to have a lot of corruption, especially in the Department of Corruption. Corrections. I'm just going to leave that one in there. That was kind of smooth. But anyway, so R. Kelly is in the cell doing whatever the fuck R. Kelly does. Weird motherfucker. Probably writing poems and shit to Puff Daddy. Whatever the fuck they got going on is weird motherfuckers. All these weird motherfuckers getting exposed now, too. And a Latin king that just got a double life for racketeering double homicide beating two people to death with a baseball bat allegedly has had some issues going on he talks to a counselor he tells the counselor he wants to just go in there and beat and stomp r kelly's face in in the paperwork that was submitted to the courts the counselor says you ain't gonna do it you would have already done it provoking him all right so Sometimes they say that as a way to get out of it. Get, you know, who knows? So much corruption goes in on there that you really never know. But they do have that documented in black and white. And especially when you're in a major organization that's respected like the Kings, you don't know if they have people working on the payroll, putting that paperwork in for you. Or the guy is just that much of a piece of shit that he incited the violence and just to see what could happen. I mean, R. Kelly is a chomo. Let's be real. So it wouldn't be that horrible of a thing. So here we go. The Latin King kind of gets away from the officers, sneaks into another pod, which is very hard to do, especially after you got a double life sentence for double homicide. To just walk into another pod where they got a, a high level, high custody, fucking just high priority, high management person like R. Kelly, the Chomo, walks into his cell, immediately just starts kicking him in his face. They say the attack went on for about 25 seconds. Fucked up his face, left him broken, bloody and bruised. He gladly said, yeah, I did it. He said, I don't like that motherfucker. And he was the one that I wanted to use to bring attention to the corruption that goes on with the government. R. Kelly later on is begging to get out, saying he's having post-traumatic stress from it and he can't sleep. Motherfucker, stop it. You over here manipulating and using little kids, and you talking about you have PTSD? Anyway, so he's doing 30. The King's doing the double life. They got him down here in North Carolina in some fucking protective management wing, R. Kelly, that is. But I don't think that's the last we heard of R. Kelly. I think that he's going to be brought up in some of these indictments as well. Because let me tell you something. There's no way that Diddy was doing this much evil, freaky, weird shit, especially with these kids, and R. Kelly was around during some of this time. Come on, man. You know he was not only there, but he was part of helping, providing, and all the rest. These motherfuckers are evil. All of them. And they're all dropping. One by one. You can't even watch 
a person anymore that we grew up watching or sports and entertainment, anybody. And you go on there and look at the first few comments. He fucked with Diddy. He helped Diddy. It's wild, man. It is what it is, though. The reality. Fuck them, though. Stay out. Stay free. Us.